today we're going to be talking about how to install cruise control on a drive-by wire LSX setup. So what we have in here is a 4.8 but this setup should work fine with the 5.3 uh, and likely the the LS1 as long as it uses the uh, the TAC module for uh, throttle control. So we're going to go inside the car and talk about the simplest way to get cruise control working. So there's a, a couple things you're going to need for sure. Uh, depending on how complicated you want to make your setup. This is my cruise control control down here. Uh, this is a 12 volt switch that will turn the system on and I have a set button. Uh, I don't have an accelerate button and the reason I did that is I really didn't have space on the panel and I'm not too interested in making it that complicated. Uh, it's really easy to set up and use this way. So uh, you're gonna need a, a few different things wired in for sure. One of them is your traction control purple wire that goes to your ECU, uh, TCC. The way it works is it needs to have 12 volts when the car is running and the brakes are not pressed. And there'll be another circuit um, that goes with your brake pedal and it needs 12 volts when the brake is pressed. So it's gonna always have 12 volts to one circuit or the other. Uh, your switches down here are 12 volts, so um, you take power for the switch and the button from either an ignition source or an accessory source. You don't want it constantly on in case you leave your switch on. So I ended up using, uh, I think, accessory for this. So I just have a wire that comes in and splits, feeds these two switches. In turn, there is a wire that will go up to the traction control module from the button and a wire from the switch. So we'll go look underneath the dash here and uh, show you where they go and how, uh, how I got mine working. I know this probably uh, is not the greatest picture, but what you're looking at is a brake switch from a 96 Camaro that I uh, tapped and uh, put in the original spot here. I'll put a picture of that up now. They are about 10 bucks, and what they have is a circuit that is normally closed and a circuit that is normally open. Looking back at our switches here, we have a 12 volt accessory fed wire that comes and feeds both of these here. In turn, they each have a wire that leads to the, uh, the TAC module, which controls the throttle body. So I'll pull that out and show you how I uh, got this wired up. So what we're looking at here is the 16 plug, 16 prong plug that comes from your harness and plugs into your throttle control module. To make your cruise control work, you're going to have to use at minimum three wires, and I believe four total if you want the accelerate and resume button. The first one we're looking at is number 14, which is a gray wire here. And what that is, is the cruise control on switch signal. So that comes from the, the switch that we were looking at earlier that sends constant 12 volt into this gray wire here, number 14. The next one we are looking at is number four, which is a dark blue. And dark blue is the set coast button, so the momentary button that we have next to the switch will feed a 12 volt signal to this wire after you've initiated the system with the bottom one and it's turned on. And that will set your speed. Uh, I think it has to have a minimum speed before it works, but somewhere around 25 miles an hour. And the third wire you need to make it work is this light blue in number six. And what that is, is a signal from your brake system that sends 12 volts to this wire when your brakes are applied. So that is why we need the, the dual circuit uh, brake switch from the Camaro. We will, uh, you kind of splice in a wire on the, the non-powered side of the 12 volts of your brakes. So when you hit the brakes, it powers your lights at the back and it will power this light blue wire with 12 volts, which will disengage cruise control. So after those three wires, there's only one wire left that you need to do. and for that one, you take a, a wire from a 12 volt accessory or ignition source. That will come up to one of the normally closed circuits, so normally normally connected circuits on your, uh, your brake switch back here. And that will send constant 12 volt power to your purple TCC traction control wire on your ECU, because if you don't have that hooked up, it won't work. So those are four wires to make this work. So I hope this guy, uh, this video helped you guys out, and thumbs up if you liked the video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to 
bunch more pointless content for LSY.